What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing Live Arena, except this time I'm going to be utilizing Lana Tharil a lot in Live Arena today. I'm going to do two different showcases as well. One's going to be in the build that he's currently in, and then another one's going to be in a more damage-heavy build. I personally love Lana Tharil. I think he can be utilized across the board in any area of the game, basically. But um, a lot of people think that he's trash. I don't think he's trash. I'm going to hopefully make a showcase for him to show you that he's actually not a trash champion. He's actually very strong. I also use him in Hydra, and he does a lot of damage there too. So let's get into it. All right, so before I get into that, I just wanted to ask, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully you're having a good evening or a good morning wherever you are at in the world. Uh, I came off of a pretty long shift and uh, it was crazy. I actually work in a hospital, so it's a little bit chaotic there. But, um, you know, I'm happy to be back home and get some rest later tonight, man. I'm just, I'm beat. So, yeah, let me know what you what you guys are up to. Where are you guys at? Uh, did you guys get the Razzlevark Fusion, by the way? I got the Razzlevark Fusion. I still haven't even started working on him yet. He's just going to kind of sit in my vault until I decide working on him. But again, in this video, I'm going to be in live arena showcasing Lana Tharo. Again, I think he's a very strong champion and people really underestimate him. But I have gotten quite a few wins in live arena with Lana Tharo. So before I do that, I'm going to pop these Mortal Soul Stones. I got my monthly Immortal Soul Stone. And then I got another one because I did a bunch of regular Mortal Soul Stones that I popped here. And I was able to buy up another one. Personally, I do recommend people to sell these for the essence. That's just me. However, I'm getting kind of close to getting an Eternal Soul Stone. And those ones are massive value, right? Especially if you can get a 5 star. Because you can only get 5 star or 6 star epics or legendaries only. So that's huge. I'm really hoping I can get a legendary. And I'm really hoping I can get a legendary off my wish list. Anyways, let's do this. I got 5 mortals. Let's pop these. Come on, can we get a legendary? Can we improve the account? Most likely not. Most likely it's just going to be a bunch of rares. Handkeeper, one star. Not really worth it right now. I've got a four star and a three star. Uh, epic. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, that works for me. Andresia, one star. I don't think I have her yet, but I do have her maxed out. And I put her in a bolster set, I believe. So that'll be helpful for me. A three star flinger. Trash. Not going to use him. What do we got? What do we got? Another rare. War Priest. The champion that you get when you start the game, basically. Okay. Something good. Another epic. Okay, okay. Jirojin. And does anybody use Jirojin? I don't personally use him. But yeah, not really a huge feat for me. Not really a big game changer, I should say. But let's see if we can get something good here. Oh, man. We really need something good here. We really need something good here. Please don't be both rares. I'm hoping for a legendary. Come on. Let's do this. Please give me a legendary. Yes. Okay. What do we got? Oh my God, bro. Why do they do this to free to play players? Jingwon, three star. Ah, okay. Just to showcase to you why I'm frustrated. Void, Legendary, Marichka, awesome, don't have her. Don't have this guy because I didn't go for the fusion. I should have went for him, he's actually really good in Walking Tomb Drang. Now I've got Jingwon, okay, don't have him, Void, Legendary, Duhana Rock, Void, Legendary, don't have it. Void, Legendary, Void, Legendary, Void, Legendary, Void, Legendary, Void, Legendary. It's like, it just goes on and on, like, I don't understand that. Jeez, I mean, it's a Legendary nonetheless, but it's going to take me like 10 years to get that. Can we get another one? Can we get redemption here? Okay, epic. Taya, probably not going to utilize her anytime soon still. So nothing really worth my time, to be honest, at this point. Uh, that stinks. I don't have a Taya built out. Does anybody out there have a Taya built out? If you do have Taya built out, let me know in the comments down below and let me know where you utilize her because I don't personally use her. I think she's a Shadowkin. I do have her. I just don't use her. She's a void. Again, more voids. Decrease accuracy is not bad, actually. Three hitter poison. 
and it's uh each hit has a chance of placing actually that's not bad one enemy instantly activating poisons and hp burn also has a 75 percent chance of placing heal reduction that's an interesting ability actually accuracy in all battles mm, i mean i hopefully she hits really hard I just don't know where I I mean this is okay for a triple hit but it's on a three turn cooldown. It's only one enemy, one enemy. I guess it would just be really for clam boss. But heal reduction is not helpful. The only thing that's helpful is poisons. Decrease accuracy is not all that helpful for clam boss cuz it's not going to block the stuns. I mean, this is honestly only good in like uh iron twins in my opinion. Decrease accuracy is huge for two turns on iron twins. Also on um What's his name? Bommel boss. You can do that on Bommel. But her kit doesn't really make sense to me, to be honest. It's kind of all over the place. That's just me. Anyways, let's get into Live Arena. Let's showcase Lana Tharl here. I'm at 1321. I'm in silver still. But can we do anything here? I'm going to start off. I'll do like three battles based on the gear that he's in. And then afterwards... I will do three more battles or more in different gear. I want to try to put him in like Savage or Lethal, see how much damage he can do. So I do have a two-star Awakened Lanatharl. He's not in a damage. He's in Brimstone. He's not in a damage blessing. And the reason why is because I use him in PvE a lot. I do tend to use him here too, but he's not the best use case. But he's definitely he definitely can be a strong use case, especially with his ally attack as well. People kind of sleep on that. And his big shields. So I'm going to go speed. And he's got Pythion and Arbiter. I'm going to assume that I'm faster. I'm just going to assume that. I don't know for sure. I'm going to go with Nishak. Plus, like, Lanatharl is a support-based champion, right? But he's also... He's not support. He's HP. But he's also a support-type champion that comes with damage. And he has some decent passives. And I'll, I'll look at his kit after these fights and look at his uh, his abilities with you. But like I said, I love him. I think he's been awesome since I got him as a fusion. I recommend him. I don't think he's the top echelon of champions. Of course, there's a lot of meta champions out there. But I do think he's a strong option. So for me, he's got Ronda and Ragash. I mean, the reality is I think I'm just going to ban Pytheon right now. I'll throw in another bomb champion just in case he has a lot of stone skin and don't mind me my voice is kind of getting kind of messed up here uh i'm a little bit sick so i might have to cut the video here and there because i'm coughing a lot so for the, another champion i'm just gonna go with speed actually you know what we'll go with we'll go with duchess we'll go with crutches we got a shield with crutches oh of course i'm just gonna block his kaimar and let's see who's faster. We're going to find out right now if he's faster than me. Level 83. I mean, he could be lucky. He could be faster. Nope, not faster. Okay. All right. So, ally attack. This is why he's pretty sick. And I can also do a big shield. But because I already have a shield. Let me make myself smaller, by the way, so you can actually see my champions. But because he has the shield ability right here. Attacks all enemies. Places a shield buff on all allies for three turns. Equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. Not bad, but we're going to do this instead. I probably should have went after Pytheon, but the other reason why he's so good, boom, we just took out one person, and it was Arbiter. I probably should have went after Pytheon, though. Now we're going to go ahead and try to place bombs. Boom, we weren't able to place bombs, so he has a chance of reviving or doing that, which is what he did. Let's go ahead and strip. Increase attack. Of course, this Duchess is very slow, so I couldn't increase the attack on my Gaius. Didn't really matter anyways since he went ahead and cleansed everything. So she's going to try to one-shot my Duchess. No. She went with that? Okay, I could AoE right now, but I'd rather not. The other cool thing about his kit is he has this ability. Destroys the target's max HP, 30% of the damage inflicted. Places a shield buff equal to 10% of this champion's max HP for two turns on the ally with the lowest HP. Very strong against these champions that are support-based, right? That are the elongated battles that take forever because you can slowly decrease their max HP. And as they continue to revive, 
they're just going to have lower max HP. Very good against like Pytheon because we're not a negative affinity, right? So very strong against Pytheon. And he can be also strong against uh, not Duchess really, but good against Arbiter, good against other revive champions as well. See if I can get a double tap here. Of course, he has a swift parry. Go figure. That's just unlucky, honestly. Ragash hits hard. But we have crutches, so we're good. Increase attack. Can he now one-shot Duchess? Why isn't he using her big ability? I don't understand. Is this like a bot? Kind of weird. All right, now we're going to use the shield. Very strong. Now, the other thing I didn't mention is that if there's any dead allies, places a shield buff on all allies for three turns equal to 30% of his max HP. And the buff can't be removed, stolen, transferred, spread, or have its duration increase or decrease, which is insane. So watch the shield. Not a bad shield, 20%. The 30%, though, if we have a dead ally, is way better. Now, currently, my Lanatharl is not in a Savage set or a Lethal set. So he can do a little bit more damage. It's not crazy damage, but it's enough damage to help to survive longer. Because Lanatharl is so tanky, because he's an HP-based champion, that you have more of a higher chance to survive. Uh, let's see if we can just one-tap each one. Ah, uh, maybe I should have did uh, the bombs instead. No big deal. Okay, we're going to go after Arbiter. And then Lanatharl's getting close to having a turn as well. He's got the cleanse up again. Fine. Now we've got the, again, ally attack. 30% increased crit damage on all allies for two turns. Teams up with all allies to do a single, uh, against a single enemy. So they use their default skills. So let's go ahead on to Pytheon this time. So you can see Pytheon's uh, max HP is getting decreased, which is really, really helpful. For, so when he gets heals, the heals are actually reduced as well. Uh, no big deal there. Let's go ahead and just do the big ability anyways. <clears throat> and then once we get back around to Lana Thyral's ability, we should be able to do the AoE in a second here. Unless he has one more turn cooldown, I'm not sure. She can increase speed, I think, and heal. Nope, not yet. All right. Oh, one more turn. All right, so let's go ahead and just see if we can take out Pytheon. We got the increased crit damage. Keep that in mind. So the increased crit damage is going to help a lot. So if he is built with less crit damage, he's got that 25%, I think, increased crit damage, which is very, very helpful. Decrease turn meter here so we can go ahead and take him out maybe. Oh, so close. All right. No big deal. He might take out, wow, big hit, very big hit, but I think we might be good. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and take him out. Boom. She's going to revive actually. Yeah. And speed up. So that's no bueno. Let's go ahead and showcase his A2 ability with the shields because we have dead allies. He is going to go ahead and place a 30% shield based on his max hp and because i have him in high hp it's a pretty decent sized shield and he does pretty decent damage boom there you go we almost took them out we were very close if i had him in savage or lethal i probably would have taken him out so do we have a revive let's see so you can see the shield definitely helps out a lot he's probably going to go after lana Tharl. nope not quite let's go ahead and protect lana Tharl here with the veils All right, let's go ahead and take out Arbiter. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out Pytheon next. So this is a long battle, I will say, but I'm also explaining things along the way for you guys. Because, again, I like him. He allows you to fight a longer fight, but come out victorious because you're decreasing the max HP. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the ally attack again. Boom. Both the... Uh, he just attacked by himself. Both the revivers are dead now. And it's just him and her. Both the damage dealers. Now hopefully we can go ahead and kill him. Before we get killed ourselves. Let's see what happens. 
can she take him out? All right, so she didn't go after him, which I'm very surprised, but she did lock out our Duchess for two turns, which is no bueno. Can they survive and beat me? Let's see. My Duchess is pretty built, but I don't think she's stacked. All right, he probably should have attacked her instead of doing that, in my opinion. Because now I have my revive. She's not going to have her ability back again yet. Unless he stuns. Nope, no stun. So we revive, which I figured. And now we can go ahead and take him out. Go ahead and speed up. He's going to get one more turn in. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all she wrote. So not bad. Um, not crazy damage, but like I said, it was a long fight. I won, and uh, I thought it was decent. I think he does okay damage. Very good with support base on, on his kit. So yeah, so I kind of read you his entire kit, basically. Let me just pop out really quickly, and I will go ahead and showcase the rest of his kit. So these are the artifacts I currently have on him. Crit damage set and double speed set okay i started working on the ascensions on the boots and, and the lower um, artifact sets there Ninety-seven thousand hp 2400 defense 213 speed 100 crit rate 225 crit damage and 209 on the resistance nothing to shake a stick at on the resistance but it's okay so i have everything pretty much maxed out so i have for the gauntlets they're five star so room for improvement on this guy's kit I did get crit damage with double roll crit rate, speed, and HP, and 2% crit damage. So once I max this out, he'll have an additional, I think, 10% crit damage. We got the accuracy here, which honestly doesn't help him at all. Was hoping for HP. Flat stat defense just makes him a little bit tankier, but doesn't really help at all. I was hoping for speed. And then we got double crit rate, triple speed here, crit rate, speed. And then for the banner, I went with HP with double HP and then a speed. Crit damage with resistance, triple resistance roll. So that's not bad, but again, he's not getting tons of resistance. It's just not enough to really resist anything, to be honest. He needs at least four or 500 resistance to resist stuff consistently, uh, at least from damage dealers. He's not going to resist buff strippers. Uh, then here, HP with double HP on the ring. So there's his kit, Masteries. Now, I did go down to War Master. I don't have him in Helm Smasher, so I can't showcase the full damage potential, but that's because I don't want to redo his... I could redo it. I just don't really want to redo it. This is my free-to-play account, my main free-to-play account, and I just don't want to redo his Masteries because then I have to pay 150 gems to redo his Masteries again. His skills, I did fully book him. And on his passive, inflicts 20% more damage against targets that are under shield buffs. So this is, he. they were like, in my opinion, they were trying to put him in as a PvP champion. That's kind of my initial thoughts. But he actually works really well in Doom Tower because he has a Doom Tower aura, 35% HP in Doom Tower battles, which is also super helpful. Great with the ally attack in Doom Tower. Great with the ally attack in uh, PvP. Because if you just make him super fast, maybe just put him in like an immunity set, 260 speed, 270 speed, 280 speed, whatever, goes right after your Arbiter and immunity. He can't get frozen by Tormans. Then you put your uh, Skull Crown and Sinesha, and then you can just do that quick blender team that just clears him down in like five seconds if you wanted to. But I kind of make my champions very much like pseudo and make them work everywhere in the game. I kind of want to make them a roundabout champion. And it's just because of the fact that I don't have multiple copies of these champions. If I did have multiple copies, then I would put each champion based on PvE, PvP, and a specific area of the game. And like I said, Lanatharl can do some damage. All right, so I did one battle there. That's with his speed set. Now, I was going to do three battles. I'm not going to do it anymore. You kind of got the gist from that one battle. I'm going to go ahead and switch out this gear, and I'll be right back. I'm going to try to see if I can put him in a Savage or a Lethal set. And then I'm going to go right back into Live Arena. There's 37 minutes left, so hopefully I'll have time. So I'm going to go back into Live Arena right afterwards, showcase you what, how much damage he can do with a Savage or Lethal set. So I'll be right back. 
All right, y'all. So I'm back and I re-geared Lanatharl. I decided to put him in a lethal and a crit damage set. I had to pull it off other champions. So his HP did drop pretty significantly, I will say, by about 15,000. So his damage is going to be a little bit reduced. But because we're ignoring defense, it shouldn't be reduced by that much. He's at 199 speed, 100% crit rate, 257 crit damage now. So a little bit more. I think he was at 225 before. So... Mastery is still the same, though. Let's get him right back in. Uh, oh, and his speed, of course, dropped as well. So he went from 213 speed to 199 speed. Because I don't have glyphs and not all these pieces have speed on them, that's why. And I've already glyphed some of these pieces beforehand. Like this one has speed, but, you know, obviously you can't get more speed unless you ascend it. So my goal is to hopefully ascend these artifacts and maybe get speed on the boots with lethal that'll be the best bet or best case scenario hp percent here crit damage gauntlets with crit rate and speed which is really nice and a little bit of accuracy too but he doesn't require accuracy at all i just put the crit damage set on there to get a little bit more crit damage out of him all right now of course you want to build him as fast as possible so let's see i got 23 minutes still let's go into another battle let's see what we can do Hopefully, we can do some damage here with Lana Tharl. And of course, again, I don't have him in a full damage build. I don't have Helm Smasher on him, and I don't have the blessings that are damage blessings. So um, it's just the blessing for Brimstone, which adds an additional 5,000 HP, which I guess you could say that that's a kind of a little bit more of a damage boost on him to begin with. But I, like I said, I use him a lot in PvE as well as PvP. So hopefully, he can do a little bit more damage here. Let's just see what this guy picks. Teletom. Teletubby. Come on, Teletubby. Oh my god. That's what he picked first, Hefrak. Alright, so you know this guy's going to be good. Let's see what we can do here. We'll go with our two damage dealers first. But of course, I always do a third. Because, yes, Lanatharl, for some people, they know that he's kind of a damage dealer, but not fully. They know that he's not a super threat, so... When you come in with him with a lethal set, maybe, maybe we'll throw people off. So let's see what happens. Uh, he's got Pythion and this chick, uh, Void Legendary. I, f I know she, I think she cleanses and I think she puts big shields as well. So let's just go with Uko and let's go with Speed. Well, mm, I guess I can go with this more bombs and see what he does most people don't ban lana Tharl. most people ban nishak so oh my god of course bro like that's ridiculous man ah taras and marichka that's so stupid man it's it's over <laughs> let's see what happens though that is so ridiculous just the duo couple really pisses me off Sorry, but that's just stupid. They one-shot everything. Plus, he's got damage, damage. I don't even know what to do at this point. Maybe just go with... Oh, nope. Speed, I guess. Maybe we could just take as many turns as possible. I'll just try to get rid of Marichka. <sighs> Man. Yeah, they banned... Oh, they didn't ban Nishak. They banned the other one. But, of course, we've got to deal with Pytheon, you know? Come on, man. Increase attacks, only going to increase the damage on my Nishak. So I'm just going to go with speed. Damn, man. Taurus Marichka. All right, so he doesn't have he doesn't have stone skin. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we can do here then. I still can't believe it though. Taurus Marichka is ridiculous. Let's see what we can do for damage here. Reduce their speed. Let's put some bombs. Boom. Oh my god, it's already over. Boom. Yeah, he lost. Might as well quit now. Lana Tharl, let's see. Big damage, baby, with your lethal set. Come on. Let's slow it down. You can't slow it down to one time speed, though. Here we go. Uh, uh, tank actually didn't do much damage. Not really much. I expected it to do more damage. I'm really surprised. I am really surprised. Let's see if we can place a weaken. All right, so Pytheon's definitely going to die then. Let's go ahead and reduce her turn meter. Wow, we still won. Okay, phew. Whenever you see Taras Marichka, you get really scared. Let's see if we can take out his Taras. Boom, 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 boom. 
Wow, he reduces a lot of damage to Ross, huh? That's crazy. Place some more bombs for good measure. Speed us up. He's just too slow. He's too slow. That's why he's losing. It's over. Yeah. Wow, that scared the crap out of me for a second, though. And honestly, I think I need to have a lot more HP on my Lanatharo, and that's why I'm not doing as much damage as I'd like. Probably should have aimed for more like 95,000 HP like I had on my last build. I think I had actually 97k HP with the speed. And I may end up opting to go back to that build. Because we just didn't do a lot of damage like I was expecting. I'm still going to try him out and see maybe if we hit more damage on other teams here. Maybe it was the damage mitigation from Taras and Pytheon. I don't know. But I thought that Pytheon you have to put buffs in order to get the damage mitigation to begin with. So I'm very surprised there. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I got him in a lethal set though. The lethal set I figured would do a lot more damage than that. I'm very surprised. Let's see what they're going to use though. Pytheon, Kandrafon. Okay. Good champion. Again, I'm going to go Nishak. I'm going to go speed. See what he does. Okay. What you got, buddy? Slammons. Slammons. Hopefully I can slammons on you. Let's see what he's going to pick. Rhodos and Ultimate Death Knight. Okay. Not bad. He's probably just going to put a speed champion at the end. Uh, so I'll probably ban Candy. Um, if I put Ultimate Death Knight, I could then do against Rodos. Or I could just do Duchess. Safe pick is to do Duchess. Ban Pytheon or the speed champion here. And I could also bring an increased accuracy as well if I wanted to. So I can increase my accuracy. Or I could just increase my speed again. So I can take way more turns. Probably just going to do that. Probably just going to keep doing the speed race here a little bit. Uh, whoever they put. Even if they, if they put Kaimar or Sifi. So I'm going to ban Sifi. Yeah, we're going to ban Sifi. I think that's a pretty safe safe bet here. They're probably going to ban Nishak, of course. Um, so they got double, most likely double stone skin or even quad stone skin. So if they have quad stone skin, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, that's not going to help me at all. Plus, I don't have ultimate death knight to protect us against Rodos if he's in a stone skin. I've never seen a stone skin Rodos, but you never know. Um, we're not going to do a lot of damage here now because he banned Nishak. Let's go ahead and attack Rodos. Okay, no damage because of him. And I'm just gonna quit because I don't have I don't have the champions. It's gonna he's gonna win. Um I'm just gonna quit. If I know I'm gonna lose, I'm just gonna quit. I'm not even gonna try. Because it's gonna be a waste of time. He banned Nishak. I should have put in a instead of my speed champion, I should have put in um what's his name? Gaius the Gleeful. So honestly, I just made a mistake. Sometimes you make a mistake and uh, you just know that you aren't gonna recuperate. And I'm not going to try against that. It's not going to be worth it for me. Um, so Uko, speed, speed. Uh, he's going to try to go for speed with a strip. So he's definitely going to try to outrace me here. So I'm just going to go here with speed. Nishak and Arbiter. He's probably going to put another speed champion. He probably has either Sifi. No. Well, he could still have a Sifi or potential another speed champion that he puts in the end. He's got uh, Magnar, who's very strong. However, if I do bombs again, which is what I'm going to do, then I can go with... See, Magnar's going to hit big damage. If I go a bolster set, I should be okay with my Duchess, and I can survive Magnar's hit with that. So I think I'm just going to do Duchess. Yeah. Let's go Duchess. That's kind of the safe bet. He's probably going to go with speed. Or a Kaimar, if he has Kaimar. He'll probably go with Kaimar. Warlord, of course. Uh, So, I mean, I can take a hit. I'll just rather ban Warlord, try to take a hit, and then recuperate. I'll have to recover. Now, my one concern is going to be definitely... So, he banned my Arbiter. He's going to want to go first and try to kill us with the, with the Magnar. My one concern is going to be this guy right here. Uh, more to Macabre. So 
So let's see what we can do. Maybe I'll increase our attack here instead because they're going to go first. Or I could, because she's going to speed up. He's not going to speed up. But if he's in a stun set, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, no, I'm going to put the speed. I'm going to put speed because bombs are going to do damage. I don't feel like they're going to be in a bolster set. Probably, if anything, a, a stone skin on the more two. In a stone skin here. Nope. Okay, so just one stone skin. No bolster. I don't need increased attack if they don't have bolster. But if he has a stun set, Uko, then I'm going to be kind of SOL. All right, so if he does have a stun, I'm not sure. He didn't land it. Boom, boom. All right, so we were, we did survive. And this is why Lana Thar is so good, because he's actually pretty strong. He can survive hits. So we're going to go ahead and revive everybody. And then we're going to ally attack one of these champions here. Probably going to go with, most likely I'll go after Uko. We're still alive. Let's go ahead and use our bombs. Boom, we slept them. And now we're going to ally attack. Or I could even use shields, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to wake him up yet. And I don't want to wake up Uko either. But my one concern is, if he goes with the ally attack, we're going to wake somebody up regardless. Let's just go here, actually. Let's go here. All right, we didn't kill him, which sucks. He did come back to life here, or woke up. Increased his speed. She could increase attack. No. All right, so she did kill us there. She's probably going to kill Nishak again. No, he, tr he tried to go for Gaius. That's actually not the smartest ability. Not the smartest move on his part, I mean. So now we're going to do double attacks. More bombs. So this kind of sucks because it wasn't really a showcase for... What's his name? Lanatharo. He just killed himself. <laughs> wow. Alright. Should have went after my Duchess, but alright. Maybe he doesn't know his passive or he just wanted to kamikaze himself. I don't know. Wasn't a great showcase there for Lanatharo, though, because he took turns first. With Lanatharo, you kind of want to go first, but you can build him in a go second way as well. In that case, I had to go second. I knew I was going to go second, but uh, I still came on top there. Now I kind of want to put Lanatharo in a, what's it called, Helm Smasher, just because I wish I could see how much damage potential he can get up to. Either way. I always put Nishak or Bomb Champions because they're kind of like a... I, I don't want to say a cop-out. They're kind of a fail-safe. So Bomb Champions are a huge fail-safe in this meta where everybody just uses Stone Skin. And I never really truly know what they're going to use. So for here, um, <clears throat> double speed, right? So this is his damage, and he's going to absolutely put a damage dealer at the end. So in my case, if I ban... Say, for example, I ban Arbiter over him... I would because I want fully. And he's obviously not going to ban Lanatharl. Nobody ever bans Lanatharl. They don't see him as a threat. But they're either going to ban my Nishak, Arbiter, or this last champion I put in. So in this case, I'm probably going to go with Duchess right here. Uh, she has a high resist Duchess, and it's Polymorph. So they could potentially go for Duchess. Let's see what happens, though. It's going to depend on the last spot. If they only put damage yet, which I figured... Um, so yeah, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to ban Arbiter. He's going to ban Arbiter. I knew it. So I figured he's going to ban Arbiter. We're going to go with our speed lead with Duchess. Uh, he's going to go with Kaimar right away. He's either going to A1 or he's going to try to sleep me. And then my champion's going to take a turn with Foley and he's dead. If he does that. What did I say? What did I just say? You don't do that, big brother. Good night. You're dead. It's over. Adios. Lanatharl's not even being showcased because people don't want me to showcase him, I guess. Come on, Lanatharl. Get that last hit in, buddy. You can do it. Boom. 32k. It's not that strong, honestly. He probably would have hit like 18 to 20k without the lethal set. But again, Kaimar, people always bring him in. And I just put in Foley. 
I don't ever put Foley first because I want to wait until people put Kaimar. Um, because a lot of people have them. A lot of people have them. So let's go in again. We're actually on a streak here. I think we got three in a row now. Four in a row. Not bad. We'll take it. Level 92, Scree. Okay, so for a Scree, what's he going to do? I pick first, though. So I always pick Lana Tharl first. Again, people do not see Lana Tharl as a threat. They just think, oh, he's crap. He's garbage. I've seen videos. People say he's trash. Um, and they don't realize that he's actually better than you think. Especially when it comes to live arena. He catches people off guard. So Arbiter, Duchess, uh, damage mitigation. He's not really showcasing anything right now, so I don't know what he's going to do. If she takes a turn because she's fast, that's a problem for me. I may end up just banning Arbiter. But again, he could have he could ban my Arbiter. Or he could end up banning my Nishak. Oh, he's got a cleanser now too, Mithrala. So he's going to try to go first and or he's going to try to go second. All right. So for this one, um, it's going to be a tough pick, tough call here. Now I could go with. I could opt to go with like. A man eater if I wanted to. And then I could also opt to go with. This guy here. But the thing is. He's going to go first. Mm, yeah, I might go with Maneater and then Speed because he's just going to ban my Speed, right? Let's just go with Duchess, actually. Let's reduce damage with Duchess. And the reason why I'm putting Maneater is just because of Kandrafon. He's going to ban my uh, Nishak, most likely. I will ban his Arbiter, so to decrease the increase attack. He won't be able to place it, that is. So their damage is not going to be skyrocketed versus Duchess, which also can increase attack, but also place buffs, block buffs, and other items as well. He's probably going to ban my Arbiter, though. Yeah, figures. Um, I'm going to do speed, and it's a matter of, okay, who's faster? He's probably faster, but I could be faster with my Maneater. If I'm faster with my Maneater, I'm going to place the... Um, Yep, unkillable. So instantly I'm going to place unkillable. He doesn't have a champion that's going to be able to strip me. So he kind of doesn't... He's going to have to use either a, a one with Kanjafon and then A1 across the board. He can't place anything. I'm not going to use my Duchess's A2 here because... Well, I could actually, now that I think about it. Um, but either way, his bombs are going to get stripped. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait until the next turn. So the reason why I'm just going to go ahead and place bombs here. No bombs placed, which sucks. And I could go ahead and A1 down one enemy here. Probably going to have to be Mithrala. Or I could do it with Candy. Let's go with Candy. Yeah. Only needed Lana Tharl to hit him. 43k. Again, nothing to shake a stick at, but it's still enough damage to kill a damage dealer. And is, she's going to probably try to kill my Nishak at this point. Nope, revive. Okay. Uh, we can't steal anything right now, but let's try to place decrease attack, which we did on the enemies that it counts on, the damage dealers. So let's see what happens. She removed the decrease attack. Okay, that's pretty smart, but I can do the bombs now. So let's go ahead and do this. Boom. Bombs across the board. Because I waited for him to use Mithrala's Strengthen. And uh, he almost killed me there. But he didn't quite get me. And he's going to attack me and kill me now. Which is fine. And now we're going to put big shields. Because our Nishak is dead. Since our Nishak's dead. We get that additional bonus of 30% shields instead of 20%. And they're unremovable. Even though he has nobody that's going to remove them. Anyways. So these champions are dead. Dead. She's going to die uh, in a second. Let's go ahead and see. We can't actually steal the turn meter. So we're just going to A1. But we do do increased damage, right? Increased damage to people with stone skin. So Duchess should die. Boom, she's down. And now I probably should have woken up Nishak, but I think we're fine. So there's the win. So again, Nishak is very good paired with Lana Tharil. 
because people don't typically ban Lana Tharl. Ooh, four energy refills. We'll take that. I got four minutes left. Let's do one more battle. And uh, hopefully we can make this 100%. Now, it looks like we're facing someone crazy here, Apex. I don't know if I've faced Apex before, but they seem like they probably have something crazy up their sleeves. They probably have Yumeko. They probably have crazy strong champions. So we might end off with a loss, but let's see what happens. And for Apex, let's see what they have for meta champions. Of course, plus two Roto, Sifi, what do you expect? Um, they've got the, the meta champions there. And with Rodos and Sifi, I kind of have to go with Ultimate Death Knight. He's going to ban Ultimate Death Knight 100% unless he bans somebody else. So I'm going to go with Speed here. And then, yeah, so I'm going to go with Speed. He's going to bring in another damage dealer, possibly, possibly Yumeko damage dealer so there it is plus two more to macabre and then he's got a speed arbiter 100 percent chance that his arbiter is way faster than me so i'm going to have to go second i probably shouldn't have even have put an arbiter i don't even know why i did that i made a huge mistake there um and this is where it can be an issue right so for me he could even have kaimar like that's a big issue right so i'm gonna go ahead and put in foley because i need another damage dealer he can just ban Foley and I'd be dead. And I probably need another damage dealer. Because if or he's gonna try to just ban Ultimate Death Knight. I'm gonna hope that he bans Ultimate Death Knight. And I'm gonna go with Nishak. Um, I could put Duchess as well with the shields, but he could probably just tear right through it. He got an Nishak as well. So we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, he's gonna crush me. Um He's going to absolutely crush me. Uh, so he's just doing this because uh, he's going to go first. Damn it. Let's see what happens. I knew he was going to ban Ultimate Death Knight, but I'm not going to be faster than him. That's going to be my problem. If his knee shack's fast, like 220, 230 speed, then it's over. He's going to be faster, though. What? No way. Okay, he is faster. He's faster. I was going to say, no way. Yeah. He's, he's, he's going next. It's over. Can we kill him? Nah. Nah. It's over. The bombs are going to go to one turn. Yep. Uh, that sucks. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's it. I can actually do one more fight. I figured that was going to be a loss. And um, it's just because like he had Sifi, Arbiter, like two fast champions. He probably has all his fast gear on his Sifi. And I ended up banning his Sifi. So... Arbiter was next. Nothing you can do there. Like, it's a speed race at the end of the day. So let's go with Lana Tharl again, of course. And Untold Bro. See what we can do against him. Yeah, there was literally nothing I could have done. I probably could have gone with... Uh, what's her name? Skull Crown, maybe? Maybe next time I'll go with Skull Crown if I see a Nishak get put in. Because my Skull Crown has counterattack gear on. So maybe that could take him out with one hit just with do, doing a retaliation hit. All right. So he's got Magnar for a damage dealer. Uko, strong champion. But uh, yeah, we're going to do speed. We're going to do Nishak. In this case, I feel like he's going to be in stone skin with a lot of his champions. I actually got caught off guard before with someone who had all of their champions in stone skin. And you would have never expected them to be in stone skin. And I just got beat because their stone skin was for two turns on every single champion. So Staltus is also a damage dealer. All right. So in this case, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to end up going with. Uh, I try to remove their buffs. I could also do. I think I'm more opt to do this with my Duchess or do this and then go with another bomb champion because they don't even have polymorph so it's not a big deal and he might do speed which I'll just cancel out his speed I'm assuming he's going to put Arbiter or Kaimar 
could go Kaimar too, and I don't have my Foley. So in that case where I don't know if, if they don't put Kaimar in the second slots here, second or th uh, third or fourth slot, I mean, and then they put Kaimar last, there's no way for me to guess that they're going to put a Kaimar. So let's see what happens. Mithrala, okay. So just multiple cleanse champions. I think I'll just go ahead and ban Mithrala. And he banned Nishak. I'm going to go with speed. So again, I still have two damage dealers. Lana Tharl's like a support and damage. Um, if they have a bolster set, he'll do more damage through bolster. Does 20% more damage from his kit. So that'll be helpful for me. All right, let's do this. Let's see if he's all stone skinned out. One. Only one. Okay, that's not bad. We're going to increase our attack. And let's see if we can land the bombs. All right, we did land the bombs, but this is going to determine whether he does a revive versus uh, doing a cleanse. So let's see what he does. Is he going to do a revive or a cleanse? The smart thing for him to do would be to cleanse first, then revive with uh, Pytheon. I'm going to go after his Uko. Okay, counterattack, I think he got. No, no counterattack. We weren't able to, t to kill the Uko. All right, so that was the smart thing to do on his part. I did remove his stone skin, 50% chance to do so. And we're going to go ahead and do the AoE next. Provoke set. Ooh, man. that's That hurts. That hurts. Okay. Let's go ahead and revive. That provoke set's strong in this game. I think it's like a 25% chance to provoke or 30%, which is a lot. He provokes again. I'll be so I'll be crying. <laughs> he can lock us down the whole time. I gotta. I really have to take him out. All right. I'm very surprised he did that. I'm actually extremely surprised he did that. Let's go after Staltus and reduce his turn meter. Ah, uh, of course he counterattacks. Go after Uko. Seems like Uko is not very tanky, so I can try to kill him next, maybe. The stuns, man. Come on. Stuns and provokes. That's irritating. That's wicked irritating. We're dead. It's going to provoke us now. Decrease attack. Yeah. Wow. He locked us down, man. He really locked us down. Well, I guess we're losing the last two for that one. No big deal, I guess. All right, so let's collect these four delicious, wonderful energies. Um, let's take a peek. I'm at rank 5,757. I like that it gives us our rank now. I don't think it did that before. Maybe I just didn't pay attention, but I didn't realize that. 5,757 in the world. Okay. Kind of trash. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so we ended up winning one, two, three, lost one, one, two, three, and then lost two. So that wasn't terrible. Let's take a peek at how strong these people are. 5.6 mil player power. That's really crazy. That's like a pay to win player. 5.6 mil, 4 mil, 6.7 mil, 6.2. I lost to that. 4 mil, 11 mil. Okay. That's closer to what my player power is. 7 mil, 12 mil. 12.2, that's very close to mine. 6.7 mil. Yeah, so again, sometimes it's just a matter of they're in good sets. They get good procs. It's a lot of RNG. So there's times where you can lose even though you have the upper hand sometimes. But yeah, what do you guys think about the showcase with Lana Tharl? Uh Of course, I feel like he's built a little bit too slow for me. I really feel like I need to have him a lot faster. I just don't have super fast Savage and Lethal Gear. I think the highest I could get him is like 215 speed or 2 225 speed, but his damage would be significantly reduced to like 190 crit damage. But I feel like that'd be fine because the ally attack helps. He would have higher HP um, in the end. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys like the little showcase with him or do you still feel like he's kind of trash?
Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Peace.